The cabinet has also um, approved modifications to the semiconductor program. The program will now offer a flat 50% financial incentive for all categories. Earlier, the incentives varied from 30 to 50% across categories. Additionally, a fiscal support of 50% will be provided for project cost. Capital expenditure permitted across technology nodes for establishing semiconductor facilities across the country. Let's listen in to Raji Chandrasekhar, Minister of State for Ministry of Electronics and IT, in conversation with Ashmit Kumar. What this has done is removed uh, the lack of a harmony between packaging incentives, compound and display fab incentives vis-a-vis -vis silicon uh, fab incentives, number one. Number two, it also brings back the focus on the trailing edge nodes, which still constitutes in India a large part of the semiconductor requirement and the semiconductor market. And so therefore we have, uh, today the cabinet has allowed us to uh, offer the 50% support to both the trailing edge and the leading edge nodes. There is clearly, sir, uh, a shifting of focus in terms of initially it was uh, pr predominantly fab, now it's fab plus ecosystem. It's now uh, not just leading edge, but also leading edge plus uh, trailing mature edge uh, mature nodes. Uh, is, was what what prompted the government into taking this action? No, I think uh, a part of it is uh, as we go along, we are also learning uh, within our own interactions with all of the investors and all of the semiconductor majors about what their expectation is, how they see the Indian market, what they see as uh, devices that will be uh, required for the Indian market, so, uh, and what uh, devices are required by the electronics market that is growing as well. So I think this is all part of. Uh, our efforts at further fine-tuning and harmonizing a scheme and a program and a goal and an ambition. Right. Uh, let's move on. The road ministry has issued draft rules making it compulsory for auto companies to install seat belt alarm systems for all seats of a vehicle. Reports suggest that these alarms will be made mandatory in four-wheel vehicles under the M category, which includes vehicles carrying passengers and also in vehicles under the N category, which includes vehicles carrying passengers as well as goods. In a bit to ease congestion at ports, the government has allowed export of broken rice consignments that are in transit till the 30th of September. Remember, the government had banned export of broken rice on the 8th of September. 